for years we've thought about men and women as having exactly the same risk factors, which is hypertension, hyperlipidemia, um, smoking, diabetes, and family history. And yet, you know, women had these very low risk factors when you look at the traditional risk factors, and yet they were having you know, heart disease. Dr. Cho led a group of physicians in writing new guidelines for preventing heart disease in women. They looked at risk factors only women experience, like pregnancy. High blood pressure during pregnancy and gestational diabetes can increase a woman's risk of developing heart disease. So do preterm births and miscarriages. Women also have common conditions like polycystic ovarian syndrome, which can increase their risk. Depression and mental health issues can also have an impact impact on heart health. We really should be treating not just the blood pressure number or the cholesterol number, but we should be treating the whole patient, including their mental health, to have a good cardiovascular outcome. Dr. Cho says it's important to be mindful of diet and lifestyle because that's what we can control when it comes to preventing heart disease. She also says women tend to be the health care decision makers in their families. So when women start eating healthier or exercising, the people they care for tend to follow.